So if you want to know what is the future of drones and what's coming, the best place to go is to CES, it's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, and it's one of the largest trade shows in the world with almost 200,000 people present. This year was no exception. I was just got back from CES 2020 and there were drones everywhere. And right now we're going to have a look at drones that go everything from the sky with 8K cameras, 48 megapixel photos, all the way to waterproof drones, drones that fly out of watches and underwater drones. So let's have a look and see what's new and what's coming soon. In the leader in drones, DJI had nothing new to show at CES this year. Uh, they were mainly showcasing the Mavic Mini. Now, PowerVision were really showing off their waterproof drone by flying it under a waterfall consistently for the entire show. Perhaps the biggest news at CES though was the Autel Evo 2 which has an 8K camera and 48 megapixel photos. Coming out in two different models, let's take a look. And right now Tim is going to tell you a little about it. So my name is Tim, I'm with Autel Robotics and I'm the creative director here. We're super excited for CES 2020 because we have announced our Evo 2. So obviously everybody knows about the Evo and how good that was but this thing is completely different all new hardware inside so there's three separate models the Evo 2 the Evo 2 Pro and the Evo 2 Dual right here what I have in my hand is our standard package it's the Evo 2 and this is an 8k camera it's kind of crazy because 8k usually isn't on a standard package anything but we're giving you the best that we possibly can right out of the box what we have different in the entire lineup is that there are 12 computer vision sensors all the way around it so two in the front, two on the top. If I unfold it, yes, it's still folding. I've got two more on the side, both left and right. And I've got two more on the back and two on the bottom. It's a lot of different sensors. Obviously that's gonna be for optical avoidance and detection, but what that allows us to do combined with a dual core processor is also allow you to track it through different things. So let's say you're going for a hike, it'll go up a mountain, but also around all of the trees, under branches, things like that. It's actually pretty amazing to watch it. It's almost creepy at first, but then you realize that it's like a co-pilot or like another film crew following you. It's finally, it's where a drone acts like a drone. It should help you out instead of making your life harder. Moving on from the AK is that we've got the one inch version, which is the Pro. So this is a one inch sensor, 6K resolution, but the Pro also gives you an adjustable aperture and a higher ISO range. Both of these models shoot in 10 bit and HDR with a log profile. Past that, we also have the dual model, but that is gonna be an AK sensor, just like on the standard, but it also adds a high resolution FLIR boson sensor, which is 640 by 512, and there's a couple other packages down underneath there. For that kind of thing, you definitely wanna contact us because of ITAR regulations and whatnot, but contact us and, and we can build one of those up for you. Some other specs too, that are definitely top of, uh, top of the line is nine kilometers of range, so just over five miles, and up to 40 minutes of flight time. 35 minutes out of hover, start moving forward a little bit, getting aerodynamics better, and now you can get all the way up to 40. We've been flying it all day in the cage, doing 30 minute, 40 minute demos, and we're using one battery at a time. It's pretty awesome. The top speed of EVO 2 is also 45 miles an hour, just like it was in EVO, so you're going to want to put it in our ludicrous mode, which is always fun to say, and uh, you'll get up in that top speed. Another great thing about the AK drone, which is EVO 2, is really if you're like a photographer and you want to do large prints, this is going to be the camera for you. Not even necessarily the pro every time, but it takes 48 megapixels still. So 8,000 by 6,000. We have some massive prints here. It actually allows you to print over 100 inches wide. Internally, EVO 2 has 8 gigabytes of storage but it also accepts up to a 256 gigabyte card. One great thing about all of these different models as well is that the airframe is the same. So you can purchase one, let's say you purchase the standard Evo 2, and now you wanna upgrade into the one inch sensor. You can buy just the camera alone and then swap that out within a couple of minutes. So you don't have to send it into us. They are interchangeable by the, by the user. It takes about a minute, maybe two minutes. It's just four small screws and a ribbon cable and you're up and going. Hey everybody, it's Colin Smith here and I'm at the T-Max booth and I've got something really interesting. This is a pretty big watch, but inside here is a drone. So all I do is lift this up and in here is a little fold-out drone. Spectre Gadget. 
But, wait. They also have a watch here where you can actually control the drone from the watch. This is our new product. It's uh, our smart watch drone. The drone will fit inside the watch itself. Like this one. It will fit right in here. And this drone can take an actual video, about five minutes video or quick pictures. It can fly about 30 meter heights or 50 meters from where you're standing. And how do you control it? Uh, you can control either by using the smartwatch that comes with the drone or by your phone apps. So you have to download the app from the app store. You can also use, to, use your own smartwatch to control the drone, but it only operate by the Android system. By the phone, you can either use Apple or Android. This is our phone app. It's our control panel. You can control the drone here or take video photos. battery life? Five minutes, that's why we have a modular battery, is for easy replacement as needed. And is, can you fly it outdoors or is it for indoors only? Re indoor recommended, because the weather condition. A lot of underwater action this year with all kinds of submarine drones or underwater drones, submersibles, however you want to call them. Uh, really fascinating. They all have these little cables because the signals don't transmit under the water, so of course they need to be tethered so you can control them and send back videos. Check the camera to go up or down. Put it in stable mode. And I can put it in the depth hold. And now it'll stay right at that depth. So anyway, that's a look at some of the future drones that are coming up really soon. Um, I'm curious, if there any of these you'd like to see me do a hands-on review, let me know in the comments underneath. Also, let me know what is your favorite drone that you like right now. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button right now. You'll get a new tutorial or tech review from me every single week and also ring that notification bell. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.